Hello parents and welcome back. Today we will be teaching our little ones how to write the letter F. Through today's activity, we will also introduce them to what a fork is and how do they use the fork and what do they eat with the fork. Alright parents, so let's get started with the activity and see how it's done. What are you going to do today? Today we are going to learn how to write the letter F. What are we going to learn? How to write the letter? Yes. Hold this in your hand. What is this here? This is a fork. Yes. So, one thin man with two long noses. F. F for? Fork. Yes. One thin man. Yes. Very good. Again, come on. One thin man with two long noses. Yes. Now, can you write it on your own with this green crayon? Yes. Yeah. So you do that. Yes. You have to do it. Yes. Because Hold it properly. It on ends. Yes. Hold it. Correct pencil grip. One thin man with, with two long noses. Yes. Yes. Very good. Now do this again. But don't take the noses so long. How has Mama helped you write here One that way? Man, yes, with no so up here. See, that's why you did it incorrectly. Come on, let me teach you again. One thin man with two long noses. F. Now this yellow one. Hold it properly. One thin man. No, you're mixing up. Come on, one thin line with two long. One thin man with two long noses. I will sing that after you finish this. Come on. One thin man with two long noses. Very good. Again, come on. Make one thin man with two long noses. Very good. Now do it again on your own. One thin man with two long noses. Very good. Such a simple activity. Yes. You enjoyed writing F? Yes. F for? What is this? This is a? Fork. F for? Fork. What do we eat with a fork? Noodles. You eat noodles with a fork? What else do you eat with a fork? That's how I eat. Yes. That's how you eat. F for? <laughs> A fog. Very good. So parents, today we'll be using this activity sheet, fog with an F, to teach them how to write the letter F. We'll have them make the line of the F in the fog, and then these two lines and teach them that F stands for fog, and that you use a fog to eat as well. Once you do this activity with them, that day parents, please make it a point that if, not, if for nothing else, just for snacks, whatever you give them, help them use a fork. Give them a fork and teach them how to use a fork. Alright? When you collaborate these simple activities in real life time, that the education, the learning that happened in that activity sticks with them for a really long time to come. So, once you do this activity and then later in the day, you give them a fork and let them eat something with a fork, while they are eating it, explain to them again, revise that activity with them in while speaking to them that, you know, do you remember how we did that activity F for fork? See, this is a fork, you wrote F and then this is how you link the two together and the next time the child writes F or eats with a fork, the two get connected in their brain and it's, it becomes easier for them to remember how to write the alphabet. Alright parents, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.